You have a knack for solving riddles. Natty's good at that too. So is Amit, although he does tend to over-explain. I've met. Well, I'm glad someone Amit. figured it out. Okay, well, glad I, glad I could. Moth. I should have seen that. What? Don't, don't worry about it. Don't worry about it. I'm a very clever We're person. Ready. Or at least I'm. I'm a very persistently nosy person that likes to figure things out, which is kind of clever. I mean, really. Where the hell am I going now? I'm not currently tracking anything. Uh, the, right, yeah. Um, Charms class. We're going to Charms class. Assuming we don't get distracted on the way. My Pathfinder magic can impact things. Can I hit other students with it? I probably should not be testing that theory out. What have you got there? Revelio. Okay. Is it just me or is that a cupboard? that is screaming to be opened. I don't know if it's the circular doors or the giant lock at the center with an enormous keyhole, but this cupboard might as well be screaming at the top of its lungs, come and open me. It is a circular door, isn't it? Yeah, I can see a seam. I don't know why, but I should really, really be getting on to my classes. Rebellion. Okay, is this my class? No. Okay. It's... There? Is this the class? Whoa. Okay, this is... Such a cool place! Okay. Here, then. No. I'm supposed to be going to Charms. Aren't I going to Charms? I thought I was going to Charms. I may... be going the wrong way. I mean, I want to go to... Okay, no, so Charms is this way. I want to do Defense Against the Dark Arts class, probably more than the Charms class. Except, I kind of want to know what the Charms class is going to teach me. It's a case of, I know Defense Against the Dark Arts will be useful. I just Rebellion. don't know what the charms class will provide. Make a point. Wait, wait. Come now, Annabelle. It was a long time ago. Away from me. Okay, Annabelle is annoyed with the other ghost for some reason. Probably, um, he's the reason she's a ghost, I'm going to guess. Okay, we're continuing to climb the stairs. I say that. We're continuing to climb the stairs. Sort of. Professor Fig's classroom. Okay. This, I should. I was expecting the tapestry to be moving. I'm not going to be knocking on anyone's door at the moment, I think. Let's just. Ooh. Sorry, sorry. I'm up. Uh, I'm Rebellion. new. Here. Professor Ronan tends to go on a bit. We sometimes have to remind him to finish the lesson. <gasps> Some of us don't necessarily want him to get back to the lesson. Right. Okay. Well, this is where I'm going. I think. <laughs> here. Behind you. There is an open seat here. Thank you. Hello, I am Nettie. So you are the new student. 
Have you met Professor Ronan yet? <clears throat> Shall we begin? <laughs> Welcome to Year 5 of Charms. Now, this will be a crucial year in your education on the art of charm work, but I am confident that we will take hold with a passion and rigor requisite of such a challenge. Right, now, everyone, please open your textbooks to page 517. But before we begin, can anyone here tell me the difference between the incantations of the color change and growth charms? Anyone? Anyone? Is she helping me out here? Mm -hmm. uh, 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 I am afraid it is too late to study now. Hmm. Okay. My, the summer months must have really taken a toll on you all. <laughs> By the looks of it, you all spent your holidays practicing oblivion on one another. <laughs> uh, hmm. Oh, Do come on, that was funny. Do you remember how to perform a basic summoning charm? Hmm. Well, it seems that we are in dire need of review. Everyone get into pairs that and take positions on opposite sides of the classroom. Now let's put those textbooks to use as the blunt objects you so believe they are and take turns summoning them out of one another's hands. Only one book will be needed per partnership, Miss Dale. Thank you. Get into place now. Some people were born to teach. That man is one of them. Okay, would, would you? Steady your wand and get it right. Oh, I'm learning. Accio? Accio? I'm going to go with Accio. All right. Right, I've got to press. Yeah, okay. Oh, starting there. I'm... <sighs> That's where I end up. You should at least know where you're heading. Oh! Also, move faster. Oh, look at that! Second try, and I got it. Akio. Akio. That is not bad. Thank you. You are a swift learner. I see a lot of potential, but remember, potential is nothing without practice. Keep at it. You might just rival Miss Onai here. Okay. Very good, everyone. That's enough of that. Well, as you all seem to have the basics down, and it is an exceptionally lovely day, I was thinking that we might have ourselves a little excursion outside for a spot of fresh air. After me. Yeah, no one believes you. We all know you got something up your sleeve. And we're all kind of excited to find out what that is. I've always found that fun goes hand in hand with mastery, as I'm sure the Quidditch players amongst us would agree. Hmm? <laughs> I love this guy. So, what better than a bit of sport to put our prowess with the summoning charm to the test, right? <laughs> Can so you why teach don't we me have that? Our newest students start us off. Hmm? Oh, eh? I don't really know the rules. What am I doing? Very simply, cast Accio on one of the spheres and relinquish your charm at the last possible moment. Now, uh, think of this like gobstones, if you will. But instead of throwing the marbles out, you are summoning them toward you. Oh! The trick is to pull the sphere as far as possible, but not a bit more, or it'll fall, yes? Off the end. Got it, now, I think... I could keep talking about theory all day, but practice is the best, Professor. Okay. Show us how it's done. All right, do you want me to start with anyone in particular? I'll start with this one, and then... And then I'll let go. Oh, no. Splendid. Okay, so I've got to stop it then. I've got to stop it then. Let me, let me. Very good. Oh, that wasn't a good one. That wasn't a good one. It was terrible. Look at that. I'm not even in the blue. Very good. Points to Ravenclaw. Oh, okay. But there's certainly no sport in playing without some friendly competition. 
Miss Onai, would you care to give our new student a bit oh, of a challenge? Oh, she's Come on up. Gonna kick my ass, isn't she? Of course she is. What? You'll be the blues just as before, and Miss Onai, ah. you are playing red. Clear? Yes, sir. So there are there are rules? What court oh that's not what no. Okay, let me just What's this? Do I do I let her go first? Okay. Is it my go? That is how it's done. Alright. Okay. Um I'm gonna do this. Oh no no no! Slow 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 slow! <laughs> what happens if we knock the other person's ball off? Is that considered cheating, or is that a valid tactic? Yes. Oh god, she's definitely gonna kick my ass. I can. Fit. I'm not gonna do this twice. I'm not gonna do it. Whoa! That seemed fast. That seemed faster than I. Oh! Stop! <laughs> Impressive. Oh, thank you. Here we go. Oh, oh. Phew. Okay. So best case here is a stalemate. All right. Akio. Oh, that. <laughs> yes. I can't a believe perfect I'm score. happy about the stalemate. Remarkable. Okay. Let us make this a bit more interesting, shall we? Okay. Uh, <laughs> I think we are well past interesting at this oh, point. Oh, no, I like this. I like this. I'll say. Enough chatter. Focus now. You will need it. Yeah. This round settles it all. Okay. Right. Okay. That is how it's done. Yeah, 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 yeah. Got it. I got it. I got it. Oh, this could be actually tough, couldn't it? Because especially the ones on the edges, you got to get the timing on this. Pretty I much. Know everyone is watching, but try not to be nervous. Oh, I'm terrified. Yeah, I don't care. I'm still nervous. If that's okay with you, I'm going to continue to be nervous. Oh, no, I left it too long. I left it. Ah! Stay focused. Yeah, no. I got it through the things, but I lost my points. Oh, I'm such an idiot. Watch this. Yeah. Oh. Wait. Oh, God, that's not bad at all. Oh, she's definitely going to win this. Ah. There we go. Yeah. I know, I'm kind of totally losing this one now, but all right. Oh, have I done it again? Yeah, I've done it again. Oh, look. Keep <laughs> no, I'm getting my backside. Pummeled. Well, I've lost. Let us see this. I've already lost. I can't win now. Okay, fine, fine. I guess practice makes perfect. All right. Yes. All right, practice makes perfect. So, I don't know when the best time to time this one would be, but I'm going to make it there and, oh no, that was too early. No, it wasn't. Oh, but I stopped too early. There, at least I'm on the board this time. Not really. <laughs> Can I play again? I feel like, you know, I'm new here. I want to try again. Please let me try again. Please let me try again. Very good, both of you. Well done. No, no. I must now wear the shame of defeat forever. Damn, okay. Passes dismissed. Gather your things on the way out. Well done back there. You took the loss in stride. Didn't want to go too easy on you. Took me weeks to become proficient with Akio. Took weeks for me to get anything right when I transferred here. It gets easier, I promise. Okay, I'm glad you understand. I'm holding my own. I'm glad. No, 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 no. That's good to hear. It's a lot to take in all at once. To put it lightly, I remember how I felt when I first arrived. I transferred here from Wagadu just before my fourth year. 
My mother received an offer to teach divination here. Before I knew it, we had left Uganda and were halfway around the world at a new school in a new country. Okay. How big is... Ugadu? I apologize for how I say that. Is Wagadu much Wagadu. bigger than Hogwarts? Wagadu. <laughs> Wagadu School of Magic is the largest wizarding school in the world. So yes, bigger than Hogwarts. Okay. But it never seemed intimidating or overwhelming to me. It always felt like home. All right. What does Wagadu look like? Is Wagadu a castle like Hogwarts? Probably it's not. It addresses mountains of the moon. It is not so much a castle as a beautiful edifice carved out of the mountainside. I remember the first time I saw it, the mist was so thick I could hardly make out anything at all. And then it just materialized before me, this enormous school that seemed to be floating in midair. Oh, sounds cool. Is magic the same at Wagadu? This may seem an odd question, but is magic the same there as it is here? Mostly, yes. But I did have to learn how to use a wand when I arrived here. Hardly anyone at Wagadu uses one. Okay. Surely the magic is weaker? Right, but you don't need a wand. So that's going to give you an advantage if you lose the wand or don't have the wand to hand. You can cast spells without a wand. Oh, yes. I find wandless magic to be much more instinctive. Not to mention quite convenient if one is without their wand. Yeah! I must admit, however, that I am growing quite fond of using a wand. It seems very dramatic. Okay. Oh, I want to learn to cast spells without the wand now. Yeah, well, thanks. It's nice to learn about another wizarding school. Thank you for asking. I do miss Wagadu, but I am glad to be here at Hogwarts. Ah, I think Professor Ronan wants to talk to you. Better not keep him waiting. Right. Until next time. Uh, well, hopefully I didn't do too course, badly for my first day. You can use Akio on humans, if you're so inclined. Okay, I well, might be so inclined. You'd be using it on clothing, to be precise, Sebastian. You know it won't work on humans. Okay, so naked humans, not so much. I kind of want to go and talk to somebody over there. A word, but, if you would. Uh, yes, definitely want to talk to Professor Ronan first. You wanted to speak with me, Professor? I did. I trust your first charms lesson lived up to expectation? Well, an outdoor competition wasn't exactly the lesson I was expecting, sir. What charm is there in the expected? Miss Onai is a talented oh, witch. Take it in stride. One often gains the most from the battles one has lost. Of course, Professor. It was a challenging match. Miss Onai is always a fierce competitor, though I sense that she is a bit distracted of late. <clears throat> now, Professor Weasley has asked that your professors give you instruction outside of the ordinary curriculum. Okay. Expect to hear from me soon regarding a special assignment that I am preparing for you. Oh, I'm actually looking forward to that. So, I've got some new gloves. Ooh, and I could uh, perhaps get myself a cape. That would probably look pretty cool. Right, some of the students have stayed behind to do some extra studying. Hi. After my brother learned the summoning charm, it was constant Accio this, Accio that, cutlery flying everywhere. Quite unsafe, really. Okay, I feel like you're trying to give me bad ideas. Well, good ideas, but good ideas for being bad. Now I want to practice. And I can, I can Accio people as long as they're wearing clothes. Professor Ronan reminds me of my grandfather. Loads of wisdom, but a bit mad. Mad? Guy seems perfectly reasonable to me. I mean, okay, he's doing origami on his desk, but that's normal, isn't it? Probably. I mean, we're using the word normal here somewhat generously. Because, of course, 
were using magic. I really want to try this on someone. I, I shouldn't. Oh, oh, oh. Twiddled. Oh, what's going on there? Oh, this... This entire school is like one... Hello. I... How was your first day coming along? I was about to say giant distraction. Um... Hello, Samantha. Nice to see you again. I wondered how your first day was going. You certainly seem to hold your own in charms. Oh, uh, that's kind of wasn't too challenging. I got my backside handed to me. I've been fortunate. Beginner's luck. <laughs> my brother William would tell you not to be so humble and to trust your abilities. Then again, he tends to be overconfident in his. Well, better see to my charms homework. I'm afraid I can't count on beginner's luck to impress Professor Ronan. I mean, I'm not saying I'm not confident in my abilities. I mean, all things considered, for my first day, I think I did pretty well. Because apparently, I was up against the uh, best of the best, so to speak. Wasn't I? Doesn't want to talk right now. Okay, you're not going to do something stupid, are you? Rebellion. I school. What do we have? I've no doubt that Black will be remembered as the worst headmaster Hogwarts has ever seen. No ability to have a rapport with his pupils whatsoever. If Got only Black had the power to choose the other professors too, then we could get rid of Muggleborns like Garlic. Professor Black was terrible mm. before he decided to cancel Quidditch. That decision was the icing on the cauldron cake, if you ask me. What do you think Black's wife is like? She must be miserable. Although, not while he's here, perhaps. It's about time Hogwarts put someone like Black in charge. Perhaps now we can stop all these disgusting mudbloods from ruining the school. I found a volunteer for, for my Accio test. test. I probably should not get expelled on my first day. Almost certainly ready. should not get expelled on my first day. Hey, are you? Oh, whoa! I'm loving the coat. Look at you! Look at you! Oh, I'm not gonna lie. I'm jealous. I definitely gotta work on my wardrobe. Well done, that cat. Oh, there was another cat. Look, whoa. In trouble you will be, but you can't give Peeves a smack. She says it's a boo, and he says it's a flat. Peeves, enough. You'll get us all detention. Who's Peeves? And you're both wrong anyway. It was Hephaestus Gore. It wasn't boots and it wasn't flack, but you're all in trouble with Professor Black. <laughs> okay, is that... That's a ghost, right? A very colourful one, quite literally. And figuratively. Oh! Okay, this one's got one question mark. This one's got two. Can anyone tell me what the question marks are for? Twiddled. Do you mind if I just reach over your head? I'm sorry about this. Oh, I am so revealing that. Let's have a look at this. I'm going to roll this. That's a... I'm going to say a slightly concussed sloth with a handkerchief attached to one ear. Maybe. No, it's an owl. It's an owl. It's a really badly drawn owl. Okay, somebody needs to get this owl medical attention. Revelio. Okay. <gasps> okay. What? This is. Oh. No, this is right. Okay, so it's a puzzle. It is a puzzle. We've got. Okay, so that's the unicorn. We. What happens if I roll this again? Oh. oh. All right. 
Yeah, it's a puzzle, but I don't have... Does this just keep going? All right, if I put that by there, this does not... Okay, we got a three, a zero, and a question mark, and then we got... I, I think the bottom one is... We've got to set that, the double. But do we have multiple what of these you? around somewhere? We're, no, we don't. Well, what are you? Handy resource indeed, your field guide. I'm most pleased to be included. Oh, oh, are you? Are you, 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 you want to be included? How do I include you in the field guide? Ignatia Wildsmith. How do I... Can I... What, are you in the field guide? Are you in it? Where are you? Are you in the challenges? Field guide pages. Um, I've got more gloves. I am getting a collection of gloves. I'm also getting no idea as to why she said what she said. Okay, so there's definitely something here. I've got to figure out with these numbers. We've got four unicorn question mark. Zero, three. It wouldn't be something like zero, three, six, and then... Four, I mean, I mean, like, 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 does the unicorn mean something? Does it, oh, could it be one? Because of, you know, uni? Well, that's probably too simple. Could it be, could it be one, two? That would be two, four, and then, oh no, we got 12 in the middle. I mean, if, if the question mark was one, for example, we'd have zero, one, three, five. If... I mean, we could have four, eight, twelve, unicorn. Okay, you know what? Revelio. I. Whoa, 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 whoa. Bork, 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 bork. Out of curiosity, it's not. Lumos. Really... Why is there a book floating around? There's a book floating around. I feel like that's important. Oh, I'm sorry, sorry. Rebellion. I feel like that is important. I just don't know why it's important. I feel like I need to take it somewhere. I just don't know where that would be. Lumos. Okay. Oh, wait, 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 wait. Ah! Right! Pages! What? Did that give me? No. Um, not collections. Challenges. Field guide pages. What page did I get there? That's just this. It's just one of these. Does can I read it? Can I read it? Is there a bit that says read? Is there a bit that says remember you're supposed to be going to class, you idiot? Okay, right. No, no, no. There's no page for that. Don't need it. Okay. Dark arts. D dark arts. Okay. Revelio. All right, keep your eyes open for books. Wait. Are these? Lumos. Oh, they're origami. Of course they are. Of course they're origami. All right. So we keep following Revelio. this and we keep doing Revelio. In spite of the fact that you're determined not to get distracted. Um, it's just too damned difficult. Don't you put your hand out at me. Okay. Lumos. There's a picture and an arch. 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 And it's got a window near it. Picture, arch, window. Okay, not there. Could be down there. Could be down there. Picture and an arch. Okay, that's a bit gruesome. Isn't Rebellion. It? <gasps> hello, 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 hello. Go, just come back, come back, come back, come back. Thank you. This is a skeleton of an Irish phoenix or augury. An intensely shy bird who can forecast the coming of rain and whose mournful cry was once believed to foretell death. Ooh, I wonder ooh. how we get into that. 
What? What? Okay. I just yeah got myself uh, feeling a little uh, better. Just not a thousand percent sure what to do about that. No, I'm not. Okay. Um. Revelio. Oh, I am so not getting to class, am I? I am so not getting to class. Could it? Oh, there's a picture. Is there an arm? Don't mind most of them. I don't. <gasps> One of these. I really feel. Could it be down there? Could be down there, couldn't it? Let's go this way. Revelio. Whoa. You can't imagine how inconvenient travel was before I invented flu powder. Right, right. Oh, that's why you're in the book. You're at, right. Okay. No, I'm, I, I will. I, Dark Hearts, definitely, definitely. One, one thousand percent. Or I'm on it. I'm definitely on it. I'm absolutely on it. Oh, come on. Oh, you. Oh, you cannot have things like that and not let me do something with it. Twiddle. We have a brand new game. Twiddle. Yes, oh, yes. what is that? Revelio. Okay, really? That's not... That's not... Family, I was exhausted. Thought that was going to be something of interest. All right, then. I'm not finding the picture with... Oh, hello. Hi. Hi. Hello. Lumos. Not impressed by that, are you? I am not going to try and Accio on that. Rebellion. It's kind of looking at me funny. Okay. What is this? Woo! Okay! And we got another one! Well, I'm not going through there. Let's have a look at this one. Lumos. All right, we're looking for a centaur picture. No, we're not. We're, you, no, you know, look, we're not. We're not. We've, we've already got one. We're already looking for one thing. That young'un's now a teacher herself. It's a wonder she's not gobbled up by her own fanged geranium. Oh, what? What? Sorry? Sorry? Uh, name's Phineas. Pleased to meet you. Oh, you were talking to your friend over there. Okay, okay, never mind. Um... Oh, God, that's a bit gruesome. This painting depicts the young orphan wizard Ilias, who famously saved the entire village from an army of dementors and dark wizard Raxidian by conjuring a mouse Patronus. That's a defensive spell, I believe. Why a mouse? Okay. Oh, right. Revelio. Yeah, I'm not climbing in there. I am not climbing in there. Right, 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 right. Could this be it? There was a light. And there was... I've forgotten. There was a picture. There was definitely a picture. Honestly, I think I'm very far away from... Whatever that image was showing, to be honest. There was there was there was a picture and an arch. And a window. There was a window, a picture and an arch. And I'm not seeing all of those three together here. Okay. Griffin. Right. Oh. Come on, let's just get to class. Let's get to class. I'm sure. Right. Yeah. That 
that's not disturbing. Okay. be good enough to blast each other to pieces in your own time. I get new students every year, but I only have one Hebridean black skull. It was a token from the great poacher raid of 1878. No doubt you've heard of it. Now, you may be asking yourself how an old woman like me single-handedly took out the largest poacher ring in eastern Wales and lived to boast about it. Knowledge. That's a dragon. To the wise, age matters very little. Today we will review a spell that has saved me from death at the hands of dark wizards more times than I care to remember. Levioso. Levioso? A levitation charm? Levioso! A surprised opponent is a weak opponent. Care to defend yourself, Master Pruitt? No? <laughs> You One thing shush. I've learned as an unspeakable is the value of simplicity, especially in the heat of battle. Now, let's practice what we've just learned, starting with something small. Oh. Okay. Oh, right. Yes. Right. Let's let's try to do a good job here. Oh, first time. Oh, yeah. Levioso! Levioso! Okay. It's Levioso. Now, let's try something a little larger. One of the students? Oh. Okay. Okay, I know it's just a dummy, but it's Let us begin going with to the basic cast. Okay. Um. Oh. You mean like you want you want me to blast See how it? The dummy Got deflected it. your cast. Oh yeah. Sorry. This time, cast Levioso first, then the basic cast. Okay, so Remember, if you a surprised opponent is a weak opponent, as Master Pruitt so. Really helped me demonstrate earlier. So Levioso gets through shields. Oh. Now, well done. Oh, sorry, did I get ahead of myself there? You were about Very to tell me good. to blast it, weren't but you? But the best way to practice is by dueling. We'll start with you two. Duelists, take your marks. Time for a proper Hogwarts welcome. Now, <laughs> I want a fair duel using only Levioso, basic cast. And Protego. Okay. You may begin. <laughs> lucky. What do you mean Nothing lucky? lucky about it. Oh. You're good. Why am I not? First <laughs> duel. Let's just say I'm a quick learner. Stupid. Okay. Why? Oh. Oh! oh my students were this adept. <laughs> Too slow, mate. Joy and lively duel. <laughs> your opponent for signs to attack or defend yourself. Oh. oh, pretty good. Thanks. Do I have to just keep hitting? Oh, I see. I've just got to keep smacking in and make. Oh, he's actually kind of kicking my backside, though. I gotta be honest with you. I thought I was doing pretty well. Oh, I'm knocked him off the table. Do I win? Not bad for a beginner. You give as good as you get. <laughs> good man. Gracious individual. Like that. I put you on the spot, and you rose to the challenge. Points to Ravenclaw. Oh, okay. Thank you, Professor Hackett. 
glad to have the opportunity to practice. Oh. If what I've seen today is any indication, we can expect great things from you. I demand excellence from my students. They are capable of achieving it, and they must achieve it. Okay. A classroom duel is one thing, but battling dark wizards, or as ever more likely, goblins, is a different kettle of Grindelows entirely. Understood, Professor. So, I'd advise you to keep practicing whenever you can. Perhaps Mr. Sallow will have some ideas for you. Again, well done today. I shall reach out soon with additional assignments. Oh! All right. That's enough spectacle for one day. Okay. Class is dismissed. Out of curiosity... Oh, hi again. Huh. Always thought Levioso was for first years. Not anymore. Yeah. We were we were in charms together earlier, I think. Hey! Nice work. Um, thanks. I enjoyed that. Well, that duel was quite something. Everyone will be talking about it. It was certainly good practice. Practice? It felt more like I was dueling an expert. Sebastian Sallow, by the way. Didn't expect a new student to be so deft with a wand. Hmm. Then again, perhaps this wasn't your first duel. Ah, uh, I was. Never used a wand in combat. Uh, uh, I don't have to tell him about the event, but let's be, you know, look, I've, I've, I've dabbled a little. I've dueled enough. Consider yourself lucky I held back. That's not what I meant. Huh, fair enough. You owe me an honest duel when you aren't. I didn't mean it like you know, that. You might be a perfect fit for a certain exclusive, unsanctioned dueling organization. I'm in. Sounds suspicious. Don't care. I'm in. Exclusive and unsanctioned. Count me in. Excellent. Knew I was right about you. If you want to get the most out of your time at Hogwarts, you're going to need to break the rules now and then. Whether it's joining a secret dueling club or sneaking into the restricted section of the library. I'm in for that. You just have to be clever enough Two. not to get caught. Thank you, Sebastian. I'll keep that in mind. Good. Pleasure chatting with you. I'm sure I'll see you soon. Perhaps somewhere unsanctioned? We'll see if your performance today was sheer luck or actual skill. Look for Luke and Brattleby near the clock tower entrance. If you're interested. Right! Till next time. Why is everybody, including the professors, telling me I might need to break some rules? Hi. I'd hate to face Professor Hecate in a duel. Yeah, you're probably, uh, you're probably r right. Okay, Professor, those eyeball things are exceptionally creepy. Even for this place. Hebridean Black Skeleton. This large dragon skeleton that hangs in the defense against the dark arts classroom is allegedly a trophy taken by Professor Hecat after she single-handedly defeated one of the largest poaching rings in eastern Wales during the Great Poacher Raid of 1878. So she didn't kill the dragon, she basically took down the people who killed the dragon. I can't help but feel I would rather have a chat with the people that took the dragon down. 